a rafale breaks the sound barrier above the head of the new French president. We're at the Paris Air Show, a must-be-there event in international aeronautics. Every two years, exhibitors introduce and demonstrate the latest in heavenly speedsters. One of this year's themes is more evident inside the exhibition halls than on the tarmac. We're talking about virtual reality. Emerging from the world of gaming, VR has found a ready welcome in the aircraft industry. Initially used for prototype design, it's ever more common in situational simulation. We're visiting the Cobham stand. The company is showcasing a virtual refueling simulation to test in-flight hose behavior with an eye to optimization. So what you can see on the screen first of all then, right now, is he's the, the receiver pilot then is engaged then with the actual drogue, which allows then fuel to be transferred over to him. He's now disengaged from that. You see the way that the hose then moved. Again, we know that will actually happen in flight because we've got then the validation to back that up. He's now going to re-engage with the actual hose. You'll see the hose is now flying with the drogue behind it, very in a very benign environment. So now he's about to approach, he's locked in. On here, you'll see then there's a green light to say that he's actually in the refueling um, uh, zone and fuel is being passed to him. Cobham counts Airbus and Boeing among its customers. For this director, their VR solution helps save time and money. Well, what we're doing then is we're showing them that we can take a lot of that risk out then by showing accurately what the hose will be doing in flight, different sort of operational uh, activities, whether it be speed, you can explore the whole flight envelope, etc. That takes out a lot of effort in terms of um, the opera, sorry, the end user, the likes of Boeing or Airbus, taking the aircraft flying and then repeatedly doing a lot of tests to actually show in flight is very expensive and very time consuming. Training and maintenance are two other VR and augmented reality application areas. Software editor PTC has designed a solution that, coupled with Microsoft's HoloLens, facilitates maintenance operations. This is going to take us through um, a failure that's happened on the equipment. In this case, the procedure is to replace a cable harness. You can see that there's a failure associated with the landing gear and it can walk us through the necessary steps to um, remedy that failure. You'll see the tool that the mechanic should use to perform the step and within the AR experience it tells me which tools to use, where to position the tools, how to articulate the tools and even we can use locator arrows that direct my attention to a certain part of the aircraft. Um, the idea is that in the real world I'd be performing this in exactly the same way and so it would be virtually impossible for me to make a mistake because this is guiding me through every step in the procedure. And virtual simulation can also open the door to prediction. There's, there's some amazing benefits. For, for instance, today in aerospace and defense, it's very heavy and reliant on time-phased repairs. Very big, like 6,000 hours, you bring a system in and you do a repair. Well, when you do condition-based maintenance, you can actually predict when things are going to fail. So, so you, you can either repair them early before they fail, or when you bring something in, you say, well, this isn't going to fail now, so I don't have to change it. So it makes you just much more effective, much more efficient, and it really saves a great deal of money. For Dassault Systems, VR makes it possible to simulate more and more things with all kinds of players involved. Donc avec une maquette virtuelle, on a une boucle d'itération avec les différents acteurs, mais pas uniquement les ingénieurs, les utilisateurs, puisqu'en l'occurrence, on peut lancer des cycles, retravailler une, une modification, relancer un cycle de calcul et remettre l'utilisateur final, que ce soit encore une fois un mécanicien qui va faire une maintenance ou un membre d'équipage qui va pouvoir utiliser tel ou tel service et de vérifier très rapidement. Ça, c'est un gain de temps phénoménal. Virtual reality in the aeronautics industry is flying high. 